welcome to the scientific investor channel a bit of green in the crypto land so if we look at xrp on an hourly chart you can actually see the price is kind of making a bit of upward momentum now in this one if you actually compare the macd rsi and moving averages you can understand that there is some kind of a divergence happening so if you look at the lines which are you can see that in here in the price action you can see the price is actually moving to the upside meaning it's making a higher high mm -hmm, and a higher low so that's like a rally mm -hmm. so at the same time if you look at the MACD it's showing a divergence that the strength is reducing if you look at the RSI it's showing the same the power is actually reducing so there may be a bit of price correction to the downside but what is interesting here is that the price has actually managed to go above the 20 day moving average and the 50 day moving average the 20 day moving average crossed the 50 to the upside then the 200 to the upside which is actually a uh, positive news in a shorter time frame but as we have this uh, divergence here that's bearish divergence you should be cautious if you are trading this market in a shorter time frame but what is bullish in this market is say this is the trend line resistance this area it actually took a bit of time to uh, test that area and it broke about that you can see that uh, shaped candles then it came back retested that area and 20 day moving average in one hour acted as a support and then bounced to the upside so that's all for one hour chart and if you move to the four hour chart you can actually see that the price uh, is like you know kind of similar thing happening here that's the resistance line and it moved to the upside that's uh, bullish news and as we discussed yesterday the price managed to move in this area that was a uh, bullish wedge then it broke uh, that was a rising wedge and the price broke to the downside or retested this long term trend line and then it's moving to the upside so at the same time what you have to look here is that your 20 day moving average is actually uh, moving to the upside it's directing you to the upside and if you line draw a line in your uh, rsi you can see this the price actually came here went back down came here touched there went back down came here touched there went back down now again it's uh, repeating so if it is to uh, continue then uh, you uh, may see that the price may come down so in that aspect maybe the this bottom you uh, bottom is not completed yet either it can consolidate in this area during that time the rsi can move to the downside and then start picking to the upside now if you look at this one on a 12 hour chart to just to see where we are in macd we can actually see a similar trend following here in rsi but in macd we are looking at an upside cross so if the yellow is to cross the red to the upside then that's actually a positive news so if we are looking at that then the technicals are showing you a positive edge but if you zoom out a bit and look into the daily chart you can see that the 20 has already crossed the 50 day moving average the upside which is a positive news now you are getting higher high here higher high here higher low higher low so that's kind of a beginning of a new trend and new rally so we actually have underlying strength in this market we actually broke above a resistance line which was present there from last five six months we tried to break above that resistance multiple times as you can see one two three four five six and then we broke to the upside now we have managed the price to the upside the buyers are pushing the price now a bit to the upside now guys along with the technical analysis we have our uh, different news and updates from uh, say twitter and other news providers which are really informational you know some of them are really insightful say uh, when we are looking at some of the recent news which came from world economic forum we can actually see that there is some kind of change which is coming in our way and if you look and try to read through the lines you can see that there is something which is going to happen in uh, near time and it's actually going to change the entire financial industry so again guys before going going through that i would like to request you guys if you guys like the content i provide on a regular basis please do support the channel 
hit the subscribe button now we are nearing to 600 subscribers and i would like to see we hit 600 subscribers and all uh thank you for all the subscribers who are actually watching the content now we are jumping back in the uh, news now this is the first one from xrp crypto wolf showing that a digital currency could see mainstream adoption within the next two years a new report by deutsche bank suggests this so you know two years is not that big time frame but what i personally think is if they are coming out you know the financial institutions the corporations giants they're coming out and saying we are gonna roll out something in two years either it may take five years or it may happen in six to twelve months at least you know it's it won't be something like as they say they will try to misdirect you so that either you are late for the party or you're so early that you'll wait sometime and you'll just leave so i feel like it, it can happen like that now this is the next one from uh, odl payment volume bot showing that you know the different uh, price for xrp in usd euro uh, considering btc and others and you can see that the most of the area the price is actually in uh, green territory so as we just saw in the uh, coin market uh, coin paprika we just saw uh, the price of cryptos are in green and you can see the hourly and the 24 hour movement so as we can see in the daily candle we got a bullish shaped candle yesterday day before yesterday and now we have a green candle as of now so we are not sure how the day will be closing but if it's green then you know it has already been erasing the previous losses so we will be moving around 0 0.24 0 0.25 now this is the next one from xrp gonzo showing that cash is dead so it's actually an update from world economic forum showing that the cash is dead and the future is digital so if you actually look at that and the next insights now this is actually from uh, reb o r n 13 it shows swift chief announces trial distributor ledger technology integration with r3 so we actually saw a mem previously you know in which it's uh, showing like if you want to go in it's okay but work with ripple and use xrp or work with r3 and use xrp so it's more or less the same you will be using the on-demand liquidity which is rebranded uh, name for x rapid which uses xrp so in that aspect i believe this is actually happening this is completely happening because if you look at this business area separation of ripple and rt you can actually see that there is a lot of uh, correlation there so uh, it's just a matter of time that these uh, institutions will be starting to work together if not in uh, open but it will be happening in the background say the short or uh, the normal investors like us may not come to know this but for sure that will be happening in the background now I'd like nationally to they for estimate you guys, one in four really americans is, is either unbanked or underbanked meaning they don't have access to basic banking services uh, some don't trust banks some live in banking deserts where there aren't any banks and some think they're just uh, too poor to open an account two fires in her homes in the mississippi delta left nationally they estimate one in four americans is either unbanked or underbanked meaning they don't have access to basic banking services uh, some don't trust banks some live in banking deserts where there aren't any banks and some think they're just uh, too so guys that's the key in that one you can see that one in four americans are either unbanked so uh, you know who actually talks about banking the unbanked all around the world so that's a blockchain technology it's a fin uh, tech that's ripple the company which is using xrp because you know using uh, that digital asset they are looking to leverage it now this is you know kind of a negative approach from uh, bitcoin ethereum crypto it's you know showcasing that they are just saying xrp is dead uh, rip ripple you know they're pointing their direction towards this so if you guys are actually seeing the word like this you know they're trying to create fear uncertainty doubt all over the xrp i'll just say if you want to invest in something invest in something which has the technology which has the fundamentals and invest in that asset when it is hated the most because that would be the perfect time when the psychology is too low prices are too low it will be the best time to get into it if you are an investor looking to get in for long term 
Now there's the next one from uh, Matoa. It's showing that XRP's uh, wave 5 is coming up. So here's what he's drawing. That's 1, 2, 3, and then 4. Now the fifth one is pointing towards point 3. Now we actually uh, were discussing about this previously in our 4 hour chart, right? In that one, we were actually concentrating. If we manage to break about this, then yes, of course, our top line will be somewhere here that's 0.26 so we have actually two resistance line to pass through to reach 0.3 which is here which actually has a lot of resistance uh, overhead resistance there if you look at uh, 0.3 area you can see the previous support previous resistance area so uh, in order to reach there we have to first break through these levels that's 0.25 then 0.265 these will be acting as huge resistance but you know if the volume is actually picking up like you know this are actually showing real time uh, use cases in the real world and if those volumes are coming in people are getting more interested and they are pushing the price up then yeah the resistance line will be just like smoke now this is actually from xrp gator showing that ripples on demand liquidity platform to australia spikes in liquidity to register all time highs so that's again positive news right the real time usage the adoption is actually coming in our way <clears throat> now if this one is actually from xrp gator i will open that article for you showing ripple 2020 plans huge global expansion of xrp payment network now if I actually go through that it's showing instead of the main instead of maintaining pre-funded bank accounts in various countries to facilitate the fast local payments you know they're actually talking about instead of no store was true accounts Mm -hmm. using the keeping your funds dormant you can actually save these costs and use those cash to, for your own good you can expand your company you can give uh, your staff proper incentives or whatever you want to do if you don't want to give incentives okay don't give it just use for yourself right now this is the next one from king solomon showing bank of england non-bank service providers in new rtga system that's the real-time gross settlement system so they are actually looking at a capability of 24 into 7 synchronized cross-border payments and who actually does that as we know bank of england is someone who works with a ripple so if that's actually happening that's a positive news they are enabling that digital economy and constructing a future of payment sector now there's an one from daily hard it's showing executives at coinbase and ripple unveil a new push to advance in cryptocurrency adoption in us so if you actually read through that it shows to improve market integrity and provide consumers the confidence they deserve congress may need to enact legislation to support an orderly securing functioning crypto markets now most of them are actually talking about the regulatory clarity new regulatory framework in us to push the crypto right so uh, even if that's not happening i personally think that they there will be something coming up to showcase uh, the payments industry the settlement asset now guys uh, that's all for the day and if you guys like the content i provide please do support the channel hit the subscribe button if you have any suggestions to improve the content please do let me know in the comment section below if you like the overall video please do push the like button i'll meet you guys on the next video bye for now